to me, I think the important thing to be effective as, as a TAB coach is the ability to, to both be a good coach, a good listener, and really uh, connect with people, as well as the ability to solve business problems. The difference in facilitating and coaching between that and being a paid consultant is that as a facilitator coach, you're really there to help people get where they need to get by asking them questions and listening. As a consultant, you're being paid to stand and fall on whatever it is you recommend. If you're a person who enjoys the camaraderie of people, who enjoys helping, you will see almost instant gratification both in yourself and in the people you're working with, and that's a very rewarding thing. The fact is that this is going to be a process that you're going to have to go through. And you have to learn it, learn it well. And if you stick with the process, you don't deviate from it. You, if you don't try to reinvent the wheel, uh, the likelihood of you being successful is very high. If you think you can come in and you can change the process, which has proven to be successful, the likelihood of frustration is great. I think you've got to be good at two different things. You've got to be good at sales and then you've got to be good at actually delivering in your coaching sessions and the facilitation. Not everybody can do both, but if you can do both of those, you've got a proven business model that's, that's going to work. Another thing that I would encourage new franchisees is to really leverage the resources that TAB has, whether it's for, uh, developing relationships with other franchisees or someone within a TAB organization. Um, it, it really opens up your mind, and if, you, we, if we live and breathe our own model, then we, we, we change our perspective, we improve our own business, and thus we, we enjoy a higher quality of life because of that.